The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that HAL is fully confident of getting the first export contract for its Tejas light combat aircraft very soon. He also said that the Tejas Mark II prototypes are currently underway in association with the Aeronautical Development Agency, and the first prototype will be ready by the end of 2022. It will take one year for the ground runs, and the flight trials will be completed by 2026. He also added that the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics are also simultaneously working on the twin-engine deck-based fighter jet for the Indian Navy and the AMCA for the Air Force. The private sector firm Dynamatic Technologies Limited has completed 150 ship sets of Airbus A330 flap-track beam assemblies, and has handed them over to Airbus through a virtual event, and the Indian firm is also the global single-source supplier for Airbus. These flap-track beams are Class 1 flight-critical assemblies that are connected to the wings, and are instrumental in controlling speed direction and balance of the aircraft. The head India fighter's sales of Boeing Defence has said that Boeing has pitched its F-A-18 single-seater E variant and two-seater F variant to the Indian Navy. He also said that after 150 simulation studies, Boeing is now willing to demonstrate the operation of its F-A-18 Block 3 on both the INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant aircraft carriers. He also said that the two-seater F variant will also give the opportunity to develop and effectively operationalize an interface between manned and unmanned systems in a carrier environment. Due to the ongoing development of the TED BF 4.5 Plus Plus generation fighter, the Indian Navy has reduced its multi-role carrier bond fighter requirement from 57 to 37, but it is still not clear if the Navy will get clearance to acquire another carrier bond fighter when it is already investing in the development of TED BF program. The Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur has launched the first technology innovation hub to find cyber security solutions for anti-drone technologies, intrusion detection system, blockchain and cyber physical system, and as many as 13 startup companies and 25 research and development principal investigators were selected after a rigorous application process. A large number of these startup firms will also be working on anti-drone technology, which will be deployed for protection of critical infrastructure along the border. Indian Navy's INS Tarbur guided missile frigate is now equipped with the Kashtan Close-In Weapon System, a new electronic warfare system built by Bharat Electronics Limited, as well as the DRDO-developed Varuna Electronic Support Measures Suite. It has also been equipped with an active towed array sonar system from German firm Atlas Electronic, and a thermoscan to radar has also been integrated that will be utilized for its surface-to-surface -surface missile system. The DRDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said that the DRDO would fund incubation centers that work on defense-related problems, and would collaborate with universities on long-term projects under the directed research program for two or three decades. He also said that fresh BTEC graduates would be provided a financial assistance of 1 crore rupees each for establishing incubation centers that could find solutions to defense-related problems. If these fresh graduates could include an industry firm as a partner, then the financial assistance will be extended to 10 crore rupees. After Kolkata and Mumbai, the Indian Navy is going ahead with its plan to install anti-drone technology in Goa that will target drones around a radius of 3 kilometers from the perimeter of the naval installations. The area has been designated as no-fly zone, and all individuals and civil agencies are prohibited from flying any aerial drones within these zones for any reason. The Goa police has also acquired a new technology that now allows them to track the current location of illegal drone operators. Oh,